Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is about Donald Trump who may replace the White House communications team with Fox News producers. This idiot who resides in the White House, who people call our president or their president, excuse me, um, he's decided that Fox News is so good that after all the leaks that's come out of the White House, he's turning to them for support and to show some type of integrity, I would assume. Far from it, though, little orange man. But let's go to the story. So Donald Trump, I mean Trump, frustrated with leaks from his communications team, is now possibly looking to replace them with producers and a host from television station Fox News. The channel owned by Mr. by Trump's close friend Rupert Murdoch has been an ardent supporter of the pre of Trump and his aides. The murmurs of replacing the communications staff began when Trump kept them in the dark about the firing of FBI director James Cummings. It left the team charged with explaining the decision to the American people with just an hour's notice and no real discussion with Trump himself. So it appears it's gotten so bad that Donald Trump says he even wants to do the press briefings instead of Spicer. But that's another story. So, so you all know what happened. Their message that Trump decided to fire Comey after reading a memo from the Department of Justice was reversed by Trump himself the next day. He said in an interview with NBC News he had already decided to sack Comey by the time Deputy Attorney General um, Rod Rosenstein's memo came to him. He then went on Twitter to say that James Comey better hope that there are no tapes of their conversation before he starts leaking to the press. For a White House accustomed to bouts and of chaos, Trump's handling of Mr. Cummings' firing could have serious and long-standing implications. Already, Trump's decision appears to have emboldened the Senate Intelligence Committee investigating Russia's election interference and the president's associates with lawmakers announcing a subpoena for former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. He leans heavily on daughter Ivanka Trump of all people and son-in-law Gerard Kushner as well as Hope Kick Hicks, his trusted campaign spokeswoman and Keith Schiller, his longtime bodyguard. Well, it appears that Mr. Schiller was among those Trump consulted about coming and was entrusted by the president to deliver a letter informing the director of his firing. He has viewed even senior advisors suspiciously, including Steve Bannon and Chief of Staff Rents Priebus, when stories about internal White House infighting make it to the media. So he gets suspicious already of his staff as it is. So here he goes. He's thinking he's going to trust Fox News to do a better job. That's just hilarious. Donald Trump is a businessman and he knows more about real estate than he does about being a so-called president. He, Trump is making our White House and our nation look sorry as shit. He is. He's making our politics look ridiculous. I'm sure people in other parts of the world are laughing their asses off at the United States and its people and the American people. And hopefully not all of us Americans that they're laughing at. Surely they know there's plenty of us who reject this orange man sitting in the White House who calls himself a president. When we had President Obama in the White House, well, we had a little more respect and some integrity going on with the United States. As a matter of fact, we had quite a few friends ever since we got this orange-headed 
individual in the White House and then his stupid, idiotic, unintelligent, just dumb aides and supporters, well, now we're looking like a laughing stock. Anyway, he increasingly sees himself as the White House's only effective spokesman and has even floated the idea of ending press briefings entirely in a move that has worried even Fox News host Janine Pryor, or however you say her name, usually a vocal supporter of the orange man, Trump. So as usual, he goes to Twitter and he tweets out these tweets. The first one reads, as a very active president with lots of things happening, it is not possible for my surrogates to stand at podium with per perfect accuracy. But wait a minute, Trump, isn't that what you expected of President Obama and his administration? Surely it applies to you too. Oh, but now that you're in the White House, now you see that it's not so easy to be a president. I, I heard you float that idea too previously in the past that, oh, you found out once you smelled the coffee, you found out that it's not so easy being a president. But you were sitting on the sideline being a quarterback president talking about how President Obama was making all kinds of mistakes and look at you. So I'm going to read his second tweet. It says maybe the best thing to do would be to cancel all future press briefings and hand out written responses for the sake of accuracy. This is an idiot. I, I just can't support this guy. I can't support this presidency. Look, all the negative things you guys said about President Obama and how you hoped he failed, I sure hope the same for you. I hope the same for you. I hope you fail at everything you do. That's a fact. Well, Spicer was absent from nearly all press briefings briefings in the days following the Comey firing. Instead, Deputy Sarah Huckabee Sanders made the rounds on morning news programs and conducted daily news briefings. You remember that lady. The White House said Mr. Spicer was called up to reserve duty for the Navy for those days. He serves as a public affairs officer at the Pentagon. However, the time away fueled rumors that Mr. Spicer would be replaced by Fox News Take 5 host Kimberly Gofoyle. Mr. Spicer returned at the end of the week for a briefing to a barrage of questions about Trump's erratic tweets and one reporter to ask if the president was, quote, out of control. And Spicer responds like this. That's frankly offensive. Mr. Spicer said, well, everything that people say against this administration and especially against the orange mutant seems to be offensive. But yet you guys didn't have those same words. You weren't using those same terms when it came to the black president we had, President Obama and Mrs. Obama. You guys had nothing but negative things to say and now you tiptoeing you want people to be nice to you bullshit anyways i'm ending this now it's disgusting once again trump making some ignorant ignorant decisions just the idea of having fox news as the communication staff for the white house it's ridiculously stupid and retarded so all of you trump supporters i raise my fist to you right on you Dumbasses, right on. This is Guru. Thanks for watching. I'm out.